All right, after waiting a really hectic long time and really worried about if this would ever show up um, through sea mail, which took forever from Japan, I finally got this book. And, well, book kind of magazine kind of thing. And this is from the 70s, the late 70s. And to me, uh, I really wanted this because uh, it has some of the best pictures that um, you could possibly get, to, well, in my opinion, of Toei Spider-Man, Japanese Spider-Man. And I do really love the Japanese Spider-Man, so um, we're just going to look at a couple of the pages in here. And I was lucky to get this in pretty good condition. And on top of that, uh, there's a poster, there's like a full po fold-out poster thing. And that's in here as well. And that's in, it hasn't been messed with, so it's in perfect condition still, which is great. And um, so let me take this out of this wrap and everything real quick, and then we'll take a, a better look at it. All right, so here we got a really, really good shot. And um, the reason why I wanted to get this book was to get these pictures because um, the old show, of course, is, is an old... Um, it's an old TV show from the 70s, so it's going to be a little washed out, a little bit fuzzy with some of the, you know, the video. Unless you, there's like a Blu-ray remaster, which I think there is, but it costs way too much. Um, the one I've seen, if it is even the real one. But anyways, now we get these really clean, nice shots with plenty of detail because, of course, the cameras were really well at the time. But anyways, um, you get to get, you know, a better look at everything and get actually see all the detail and, and the characters in a much better, clearer shot. And that's kind of why I wanted this. And so, you know, we get um, Marvler um, in his full form, you know, and he looks freaking great. I mean, you could see where the, the suit parts are at and you can see where the guy's arm is at up here as well. Um, again, sorry for the angles, but my phone will fall off if I do more tilted up or something. Um, but yeah, and, and supposedly, you know, the story is that this got stolen halfway through. And so they had to keep reusing the old assets over and over and over again and whatnot but uh now we get to see it that still looks freaking great uh now let me try to go to a different page real quick all right so i forgot some of these guys' names it's been a while since i've seen it but here we can see the spider string or the spider web and you can see where like they sewn together the other parts of it uh, we get a good shot of his bracelet up there uh, we get a close shot of him fighting over here as well and again, super, super clear shots. You know, you can see this glove. Um, it kind of looks like a welding glove. Um, I used to weld a bit, and so that kind of looks familiar to me. But you can see uh, some other little things up on there, some more details. It's a really shiny on the bracelet. It looks pretty good. Over here, some more. When he's fighting, like, this giant, like, catfish, robot catfish-looking thing. You know, like, it, it, it's really nice and really good to, to see everything in, in such clear images let me get a closer shot but yeah it looks really nice you know going from i think I, I saw the show back when it was still on youtube under the archive supposedly and so being able to see them in full clarity like this is freaking great you know and then you can see like his mouth part is kind of like a like a soccer mesh net thing kind of but you can see like the foam on the body the hand and like the like the fake metal little rivets and everything there so i mean even though these costumes were because i only used one one bad person per episode they still had really great detail to them and of course spider-man's suit and his bracelet spider bracelet get a really clear look at it so yeah so that's, this is why i really wanted just to go, like comb through this and take a look at everything and this is probably one that a lot of people have seen because this is kind of one of the main pictures they used for a lot of stuff again really clear shot of them really really clear shot all right let me see if there's any other good ones up in here all right all right so on this one we got the gp7 spider machine and you get a really clear shot so you can get a even more detailed look and if you're really into cars you can really you know piece together and, and get a better idea of a bit more sense of you know what this car actually what, what's the actual car underneath the this all you know fake body they put on it and exhaust and the rockets that come up in the front and shoot and little guns and whatnot um and on top of that too you get more of the big mech fight scenes in the back and you get a better sense of scale um you know like for example like right here you can totally tell 
<laughs> that's the toy. It's clearly just a toy model that they were using there versus the actual, you know, guy in the suit right there. And then them fighting right there as well. Really, really clean shots. Super clear. The spider machine. See the tires. Was it Firestone? Yeah, Firestone tires. A little bit faded up up on top, but probably when they were using it or something. You can see the guns right there up in the front. So that, that's really cool. And then I, I didn't even know that. I wasn't expecting this at all, but it has like a whole kind of like catalog of the, the monsters towards the back. You can take a look at it. I and mean, again, you could see like way more details in them and see how much thought and care. Like this guy actually surprised me with how how detailed it is with like the the horn, um, well the seashell, you know, wrapped around and everything, and the the shell he has over here. But all the other like little details coming around him make him look really good. I always thought this cat monster was weird. I always thought that one was super weird. Um, so yes, yeah, so these are really good. Get a closer look at them real quick. Yeah, this guy has a lot of colors going on. He the colors really pop. They pop a lot more. Don't remember them popping out that much in the show, but they're really good colors. Let me get a better look at that shell guy. It's like bug. Robotic bug. Look at them fighting out in the middle of the next to the water, I believe. On a beach. Really good. Really clear shots. Last two, like the lizard chameleon looking dude. And it reminded me of like Torok or something. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I think that's one thing. Like one more page of monsters. See, I never got this far. I never got to that monster. I don't even remember that one at all. I remember this Triceratops dude. Um, again, I'm sorry for the angles and completely forgot a lot of these guys' names. It's been a while since I've seen the show. But let's get a close-up shot. I think this will probably be it because I don't want to go through the whole book. But again, like they're like man, seeing these guys so detailed and such clear images of them is really cool. Really, really cool. It's like gorilla monkey dude. Oh, the car in the background. Oh yeah, that's really cool. All right, all right. So I think that'll be it for what I show from the book. Um, because again, I don't want to go through the whole thing and go through every little part of it, but overall, it's a really cool book. It is older, um, maybe late seventies or something when this book came out uh, around the time of the show, of course, um, there is some dates right there, but it's something that I really wanted and I saw it and had to pick it up. So I thought, I think it's really, really cool. And I thought it was just going to be a small little like standard size magazine book, but no, nah, it turned out to be really freaking huge, which is really cool. Um, so I'm happy to finally have it after waiting, like no joke, like almost two months for it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed looking at it with me real quick. And again, it's just a couple pages out of the book, but overall, it's really cool. Really neat book. Uh, if you ever see one, definitely, definitely try to get one because they're really cool. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. So thanks for watching.